tough. Yeah, he was tough, to be fair. Okay. He was a tough lad. Well, he was, he was not hit for fucking hell. He just got hit. And not many, he had no cash alley, mate. Yeah, cash, he took. Six rounds to stop him. Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm with Fabio Wordley. Had you enjoy that fight, brother? Yeah, it was fantastic. It was great. It was everything I wanted it to be. Third round knockout? Third round KO. Well, the others have been first rounds, but it's fine. It's good to be, a, it's good to give it, a, a, like, give yeah, it ring time. Kind of soak up the atmosphere. It's my first time in a on a big stage like this, so yeah, definitely, it's, it's nice to get that time in. Talk me through the, uh, talk me through the stoppage, because you was going out there quite aggressively. I was noticing, when, when you missed a shot, you was like cursing yourself, weren't you? Is that, yeah, you, you got a high standard for yourself? Yeah, I'm, 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 me and my coaches will all tell you that I'm my own biggest critic. Like, I, I know what I can do, so I know when I'm not doing it right. I know when I miss the shot, when I'm too early, when I'm too hasty. Um, so yeah, it's just about being self-aware. Um, Probably I'll bring it down to the, to the stage, the atmosphere that I just wanted to impress. I wanted to show off a bit for everyone here. Um, kind of make my statement and make my announcement. But overall, I'm very happy with the performance. And uh, where are you from? Ipswich? Ipswich, yeah. Ipswich, Suffolk. So what's the boxing scene like up there, brother? Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. I kind of came out of nowhere. Um, <clears throat> just came into this scene. I only laced up a pair of gloves about four years ago now. It was the first time ever. Really? Yeah. And, um, and yeah, I've just been running with it from there. I just kind of went into the gym one day, boxing, and then just never left. You're, you're one of those fighters that it seems to me you, you've got the two different personalities. Because looking at you in the ring, you, like, you, you had an angry looking face on you, but like now you're jovial. Is that how you are? Does it yeah, click definitely. for you when you it's, get in the ring? Yeah. It's click time, it's game time. As soon as you step through those ropes, all the way leading up until I'll like, laugh and joke, and then as soon as my head's through them ropes, it's a different game entirely, because this sometimes it can be life or death. You can, you can come out with a serious injury, so you need to take that serious. Talk to me about the Dillian White link up. How did that happen? <clears throat> um, me and Dylan have been friends for some years now. Um, I've helped him out with camps, like sparring and things. First came, we first kind of linked up probably about <clears throat> two years ago, something like that. And just ever since, we've always stayed close. We've always got on well. Um, and then even when, like I was having small hall fights and he was fighting on massive shows like versus Parker and all of those and the, the White Chisora, the first one, he was still checking in on me, seeing how my fights were going and things. And I just appreciated that. So as I separated from my previous management, um, I called Dylan just on the, <clears throat> just to speak to him just about who I should go with, the opinions of managers I've spoken to and things, not actually to link up with him at all. And as the conversation went on and on, we, we spoke and things, and it just made more sense for us to kind of get together and, and do this journey together. What's your, what, how would you define your style? Because I'm looking at you, the <laughs> arms were down. Someone said to me, it's a bit of Roy Jones there. Then you're just going in, it's quite aggressive. Are you working things out or do you just have a freestyle sort of boxing I technique? have a free flow style, I right, probably okay. is the best way to define it, is that I just do, <clears throat> like I'm not upright, I'm not rigid, my hands aren't very here that often. They're down by my sides, I'm moving, I'm swaying, like it, that's what fits for me. I've tried different styles to keep things stiff and close and they just didn't work. So we're, obviously I'm still in the early stages of my career. Yeah, of course. So we're still figuring out what's working and what we need to kind of keep going and what we need to get rid of. But for now, everything seems to be coming together. But yeah, Roy Jones is an idol of mine, so it's definitely someone I kind of, I look for for inspiration. Uh, have you sparred Tyson Fury, is that right? Yeah. How did that go? Fantastic. Yeah, it was really good. We, um, <clears throat> we went up to Manchester when he was getting ready for one of his two warm-up fights. I couldn't remember which one. Um, but yeah, that was great. And it's, it's funny to be in there with someone who's, who moves around like me, but is almost twice my size yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was great to be in there. It was a great learning experience as well. It's a, obviously, it's a few weeks ago now, but what did you think of the Wilder fight, his performance in that? I thought he did great. Yeah. I thought he did great, yeah. I thought his corner gave him the right advice, um, and I thought he did great, and I definitely think he won the fight. But... Sometimes when you go away from home, that's, that's the way it can go. But I definitely think they'll do it again. It was too much of an entertaining fight not to. The build-up between them as well, the chat and stuff, it was just all made such an occasion of it. So, yeah, definitely, they'll do that again. What do you think of the up-and-coming sort of uh, headweights? Obviously, they're, they're a few stages ahead of you, but like the Dubois and the Gormans, do you look at them or, or do you just, you're doing your own path? I, like, I'm, I'm not naive. I pay attention to them. I see what they're doing. I see who they're fighting, how they're progressing. But I'm not... I'm not looking at them every of day, course, hunting yeah, them, early, chasing yeah, them. No, early. no, no, not at all. Because I want a completely different path to them boys. Of course, yeah. They've been in the ABAs, they've been in the Olympics, they've done all that. They've had their years and years of experience. Whereas I, like I say, only put on a pair of gloves about four years ago and, and I'm just finding my feet kind of thing. And I dove in at the deep end, basically. I just jumped in with all the, all the sparring partners I could find, like Tyson Fury, Dylan, Derek, and Yusik as well. And just, and just got all the experience I could and just kind of put that together. 
Support is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there's something else, aren't no, there? No, normally for the early fights, it's not. But they're, they're, you've got a big support. Nah, there's something there. else. And definitely, like I was saying on, on Sky, that when um, when we get all of us in here, when I'm in a few years down the line, when I'm higher up the card or when I'm headliner maybe myself, that the raw will be something else. And what did you think of Phil Williams as an opponent? Tough, tough. Honestly, I didn't expect him to be that tough. Like, I knew he'd, I knew he'd gone the rounds with a lot of good, credible, kind of up-and-coming fighters and things. Um, but I thought I didn't. I thought it was his style more so than how tough he was because he's very lean back, yeah. very lays away from the shots, um, very standoffish, doesn't attack too much. So I thought it was more that than actually him being tough. But when I got in there, landed a few decent shots in him, I realised he was going to be here for a bit. So so yeah. Well, Fabio, thanks for speaking to Wingy Boxing IFL TV. It's going to be great following your journey. And uh, yeah, keep it up, man. Keep it up, bro. Brilliant. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you.